tube as we bring you back. Let's start again. We bring you back, tubers. This is what the island's famous for. Turn you around after I uh, get the crap out of my footwear. Look at that bloody stuff. You see, we've just come from Explore. And straight away, this is what the island's famous for, tubers. Landslide on the same. We haven't experienced this previously. No, this is the old road. Right. Centre markings, look, the old road's just gone. There's the new road. Goes up over there. There was a danger, don't enter sign. Further back. Yeah. Always take this very seriously. It just goes. Yeah, it's been some time like it. As you can see, it's all fenced off here. Still get a car along. Furniture, street furniture. I wonder what the view is like. Can we see that? Oh, dust just dropped. Look. I don't know if you can hear the sound of the sea just in the distance. And you go falling, Mr. Williams. It does just drop, doesn't it? You yeah. Can knock the old concrete down there. Can you? Just about. Yeah, no. Well, you probably won't pick that up on a no. camera. It's incredible. Of course, one of the first things to grow in many places is abandoned buildings and uh, walls, very old walls and tarmac, is the old buddleia. Because it self seeds. So easy, you've lost half of the road already. In places, you can see the old manholes there. See them? In places, you can still see the curbstone of the road. I should perhaps wander back so you can see it. As I was saying, tubers, you can still see evidence of the old curbstone side of the old road there. And that look. And that's how close the Buddleia is. You couldn't... You could get a motorcycle through that, but any car would be grazing that Buddleia now. Anyway, that's your three minute explore. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and drop some comments below what you'd like to see next. Tubag! Hello Tubers. We obviously wasn't ending the video as early as we thought. We've just driven along from St Lawrence, that way we just showed you, and not a couple of minutes along the road, we have behind us road closed. I'm not sure if it said further back and we were just trundling and taking no notice of what's going on. But look at this, you can really see where the road has fallen down. And again, Budley is one of the first things to grow in abandoned properties and abandoned roads and whatnot. Let's take a little bit further of a Let's take a look further along. Motley. Any moment. Look at that. Yeah. As you can see, tubers, they have not reinstated the road they have just literally made it a public footpath um, we obviously work our way round in due course but some underpinning and reinforcement obviously going on but it's just amazing I don't know if that just shows how poor the island is or their intolerance to people preparing nature 
nature obviously doesn't want a road here, so it's not getting a road here any longer. Right tubers, we've just come across a couple of abandoned houses. I'm going to put a couple of snippets in from the other explore. This one is sealed. Never, ever break into locations and that is a golden rule. Look at this, well these people, there's landslide going on behind. Well landslip has happened. And this is the end result, they've left a beautiful, I had one of these, a Ford Cougar. Jeremy Clark's Rayton. There's a V6. I will find out when it was last on the road for each other. Has it still got a number plate? Yeah. Look at that, oh it's a spastic. Nah, it's automatic. I wouldn't touch that with a barge prop. But anyway, as you can see, other than in here, right. that is awesome, Jesus. Someone still looks, knows about. Sadly, no entry. Like I said, we've come away from that one. Do not break in under no circumstances. It's not us, it's the way you should be. If you can freely walk around something, freely gain access. I'm not saying you've got my blessing, but at the same time there's no one there to say no. Old forgotten bus stop. Anyway, tubers, one more to go. Right, the last video in the chain. Mr Williams is just getting a few instas. Blimey, we can't unwrap that. No, I'll check it yeah, we'll get the reg up. And I'm guessing there's no access to this one. It's quite nice. To be honest, it almost looks like this one's still half used. Nah, that take up. Someone just used. Oh, <gasps> tubers! Look at this, tubers. Oh, that was worth an explore alone. They're pretty light, them, aren't they? Yeah, I could lift this up. <laughs> I'd want it I'd, so badly I could lift one of these tubers. Listen, pull up three fingers if there's a, a ringtone, drill tone. Oh, that's the old tubers, that's what the vehicle is there, isn't it? Yeah, 1.6. Come on. It's all plugged in. Hello? Hello? Nothing. Computer says no. Completely dead. The door's going black. No dial tone. Look at that. I've got a feeling someone still uses this. I don't think they uh, use it as a caravan site, perhaps. Yeah, I'm going up here for a picture. But look at that view. And this doesn't feel very unmaintained either. So we're probably just... Nah. We could get round if it wasn't padlock tubers. Kind of almost strikes me as if it's not completely abandoned, this one. Woo! Incredible view. You don't know if someone's still fighting the authorities to still have this as, you know, to still use it. Probably... I wouldn't want to be in that caravan, no. I can see the sheer drop. It says be rare steep drop, but yeah. That car was last MOT 2011. Yeah. Anything you'd like to say to tubers what they can do? What they can do? What they can do to help us. I don't know. Like and subscribe. And give us your comments. I mean, we're sort of blown away by this because I think it's quite on. We know it's landslide and it's obviously the forced nature, but it's incredible really to think that. 
there's things like this. And what people leave behind. Yeah, that is quite a sad bit. I mean, as you can see, I thought initially, because below it's quite nice, but into the caravans, that hasn't been maintained in years. Since the landslide, I expect. Look at that incredible view down there on the rock. Right, troopers, that was quite bizarre. A lady come storming down, steaming down there, driving her little car. I thought, oh, here we go. <laughs> so we just stopped and smiled, you know. She was like, um, I'm not going to take the mickey out of her, but she had that very... Um... Anyway, she was talking to us in a stern voice, as you half expect, but she wasn't. It's just a natural persona. And um, then she said, oh, what are you two sort of herbits up to? And we said, oh, we're just being nosy, quite, to be quite honest with you. You know, we're not breaking into anything. We're just having a, a general um, nose looking about. And we said, oh, it's sad, you know, to see this because landslide and oh, she, oh, she okay. tore her head off nearly, didn't she? Yeah. No, this, this isn't to do with landslide here. This is all to do with the council. They took, uh, from what I can make of it, because in the wet season, when the ground's soft, they done some work that they shouldn't have done, basically. Yeah. In landslide season, the council started to dig one hole to fill another hole. And in doing so, they created one landslide, man-made landslide, not a natural landslide. And then where they put all the hardcore rubble from the devil's from the aftermath of the landslide that was created clearing it up they put it the other side of where we were stood and that then created another landslide and the poor lady was just telling us for uh, was it for four years or something it happened in 2013 yeah remember? but for four years they were having to wheelbarrow coal and whatnot in and oil barrels to for the uh, electrics and you know heating and stuff you know that's houses on the left that were left yeah, yeah. Uh, it's all been brought one house is supposedly inhabitable but it keeps getting broken into and this is what i said to you don't break in if a door's open by all means it's up to you at that point it is quite clearly trespass but if you know your law trespass is a civil matter and well anyway let's not get bogged down with who said what and who did what um it's all good so we're now just on our way back to a freshwater bay to camp and uh, probably going to continue to explore tomorrow on the north of the island where we hope to take in a few air raid shelters. Anyway, see you soon tubers. T-Bag!